So this is an update on what's going on on the weather here, and I just can't believe my eyes. You know what that hummingbird's doing? Oh my gosh, you know what? We'll talk about that in a few minutes because I'm gonna get a full video on what that hummingbird. Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California. I'm gonna make a real quick update just because I've had like thousands of people asking. We're fine, but we've had some issues. That's why I'm not gonna stay on because we've been running around here trying to get stuff done. I'm sopping wet. As you can see, it is raining. It rained all night. And as of a few hours ago, we had already five inches of rain and it just doesn't let up. It might ease up a little bit. We haven't had much thunder and lightning, a little bit, but very little. We have lost a couple minor things around here. As you can see, some of my hummingbird stands and planters literally flew off the deck in the middle of the night. I left them up there thinking they were so heavy. Some of them are anchored and tied down, but those were not. I was surprised, but that's okay. It was from the Dollar Tree. One of them broke, you can see that, or I guess two of them broke, and I can just replace that for a dollar or two. So that's, that's nothing. I've been trying to keep the hummingbird feeders full. That one's out in the rain, I gotta get it out. That one still has a little ways to go. In the yard, I personally have not been out in the physical gardens around here, but Gary walked around and said that things looked pretty good. I, I did a walk around. There's no trees down. There's a lot of water puddling in different places, but everything looks pretty good. Nothing's underwater. No Nothing, rivers, no, no trees. rivers, just a couple of lakes here and there. Okay. Now we are going to have some thunder and lightning, they said later. So we'll see how that goes and I can do another update later on. As you can see, I cleared a lot of stuff off the deck there. It is now on the ground and that is good. But the problem was there was a bird feeder there that I had hanging. That too went this morning when the winds kicked in and that went flying and that broke, but I put a bowl there and that green bowl has a hole in it. This is just for the house finches and other birds have been coming to feed. So I did that and that's basically it. I mean, all in all, we're raining, what can I say? I mean, rain is good. We're gonna have all kinds of stuff growing around here in the hills and everything. The trees are gonna appreciate it. And boy, should we be loaded with avocados this year too. But the problem is the wind. That's what gets scary. I dropped that one down. That was up on top there. Put that on the ground and that didn't blow away at all. So that worked out really good. That's an irrigation tubing. I made that for the hummingbirds. The shelter on that is just a Halloween garden flag. It's been up for over a year. The Orioles feed under it. Of course, the hummingbirds feed under it. There's no feeder on that right now. That usually stands on the table that's right there, but keeping it in the dish pan, which is growing flowers, and then with the tomato steaks and irrigation tubing, it held up really good. It didn't go anywhere. So that can be lifted later. I don't know how long this is gonna last, but I'll, I'll keep you up to date every day. Don't worry about it. Now they're saying it could be till Thursday. We're thinking Friday we might have a break. We're hoping so because my daughter's got some plumbing issues and we're trying to get a plumber over there. And I do appreciate that they have to work with certain things around there in the rain. So we, we're kind of stalling for them as much as possible. But here, as, as it stands, we're okay. Minor roof leaks, nothing new. We've had that. So I appreciate and thank you all for your blessings. It's not just us. Oh, <laughs> sorry, you know what I've been doing? Cleaning. I have a room stuffed with junk and I've been in there and boy, is it dusty. <clears throat> and that has gotten into my throat. And I thought, you know, it's a perfect time to be in the house and go through the stuff I don't want and then set up things and get things out of my kitchen so I can come on live more maybe. I've got stuff piling, all kinds of solar fountain kits and. Stuff. Oh, by the way, there's still some solar fountains on there, uh, the kits on that video I put up. So keep an eye out. But if you can get them for even $10, I'm telling you, $10 is still a great price. But I'm stocked up now, so I can start building all kinds of stuff. I have exciting things I want to do this year. So we're fine. I will keep you up to date because the more we get rain, the worse it is. Surrounding cities or surrounding areas here have been having flooding. There's car structures that have come down that had walls, like retaining walls, that came down. There's been a lot of different issues in the area. We're just south of the city of Los Angeles, but we're still north of San Diego. So we're kind of smack in the middle of all this. 
what's going on. But San Diego's got their own issues too up north. It's got a lot of issues. So everybody stay well, stay safe. If you're in the middle of this, just stay dry. But like I said, I got to go back and do the hummingbirds because they are, they're not happy. And it's sad, but there's nothing I can do. So hopefully, I mean, hopefully they'll just sit in the trees. I don't know if you can see that, but there's all kinds of doves in the trees. Generally, birds do not mind the rain. They know how important rain is because rain makes their food. Rain is not just water for them, but it makes the plants grow and it feeds them and it gives them places to nest for certain birds. So that is important. And birds have a, a gland on the back of their tail, most birds, where they can go to this gland. This is why you see them preening all the time. Take oil from that gland and put it all over their feathers. So as you can see, all the doves hanging out there and even the hummingbirds sit in the rain, it rolls off their feathers. Now hummingbirds may not have the same exact gland or be able to do it as good as some of the bigger birds, but they all have the ability to have the rain roll off their feathers. And that's why rain isn't that bad. It's the wind, it's the cold, it's the combination of a lot of things. So as you can see, they're, they're sitting here in the avocado trees, a whole bunch of them. You probably can't see them and I can't step too far out. They're sitting on top of the trees, right there there's one. And they don't mind the rain, it just rolls off. Look at one's right here, right, sitting right there. Rain is no big deal to them. So I will keep up um, these updates for you. I don't know if I'll do another one today. Maybe I'll go live if you subscribed and you hit that button. So, you know, if I go live, you'll be notified. If not, I'll come on tomorrow and let you know how it's going. So everybody have a wonderful day. Zoe is on my foot, Zoe. Zoe, you can't be out in the rain. She actually doesn't mind the water. She's been out in the rain. I've been pulling her back. So with that, have a wonderful day. I am going to get back in and go take care of the hummingbirds because I see a lot of the feeders are empty. Those two are under shelter and they really like those feeders. And I'll have to get some more under shelter ones here later because I have to design those hooks better. I can't use a little narrow hook like that. what's there because the shelters I make are bigger. And though I could use a plate or a Frisbee I've used or anything like that, it's not big enough, especially when you have wind force driving rain, you need something a little bit bigger to keep the water from getting into their food. Some of them won't eat it. And if they have a different food source, the hummingbirds, they will leave your place if it gets wet and go somewhere else that's better. Otherwise they'll have to feed too much to get this sucrose they need. That's why there's a recipe or a formula, which is a quarter of a cup of white granulated sugar and one cup of water. That makes the perfect formula that they get out of the flowers. So I'm gonna duck back in, go continue to check around here. And if I have to, I will be out in the rain doing some more things around here. And Gary is monitoring the gardens. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. That hummingbird is taking a bath on the leaves. Look at that. Can you see that? He is actually taking a bath. Oh my goodness. You think he doesn't have enough rain to take a bath?